Okay. What's up, dudes? This is the By Yourself, and welcome to the Killer Review. And to be honest with you, dudes, this is actually my first Killer Review uh, video. And this time, and the, fir and the very first game I'm going to be talking about for my first ser series, we're going to be talking about Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So, this game is so damn hot i wanted to say i just want to bring that out there this game brought me so much expectations out there ever since i played it at first i thought it's gonna be i thought the uh, the aspects the the the, the gameplay the controllers are, are are the same but it's a lot completely a lot different than the first uh the original uh various edge that I played on pc but this, this entire footage is actually a, a beta g a gameplay that I experienced on the PS4, which I should have played on, on PC because I, like I said, I had more experience. Especially uh, picking up where we last we we last played on the on the original Mirror's Edge. Basically, uh, this main character Faith, she's actually a free runner, or uh, well, or just a runner. That she's she actually grown up with them. She actually grown up. Uh, that was basically her childhood to be a runner, like free run, uh, delivery packages, finding uh, police or bad guys that gets her her way so she won't get caught. And uh, yeah, she's very, uh, and she's also a martial artist. <laughs> but yeah, like in the first game, all you do is is more running, but it, but in Mirror's Edge Catalyst, it's more both. Like you, you get to you, you, you do more running and more fighting this time, cause in the in the first uh, very edge you do you do fight enemies, and but what what you also do what I like about that is that you can also disarm enemy uh, um, like gunmen like pol police or whatever you want to call them I don't know that the the dissects from the callus, but yeah and you also can you also can pick up the weapons to use for your own advantage, but in this game. For why I play so far in the beta, you really don't uh, disarm the weapons and use it for your own advantage. Mostly, you just go Bruce Lee up their asses. But, but, well, this is just the beta, so I can't really tell you, dudes, that in, the, in this game you can't disarm any uh, 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 soldiers from this game. Maybe you can, maybe not, because they haven't given me this option to do it. And even it did, it doesn't show the option uh, for for the upgrades to upgrade uh, the character Fame to do it. So I can't really tell if they either they uh, if they're going to include it in the in the Mirror's Edge catalyst or they're not. Cause I prefer they did. So that way it gives you a better advantage, especially in case there's a sniper in this game that you try they they try need to get by the next platform they or 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 probably they want you to be more stealthy but anyway uh yeah this game is is, is very beautiful the developers or the people who developed this game I, I actually like put, like put a lot of effort to it because in the first Mirror's Edge game they, they were kind of lazy because most of the buildings and cities and the structures I have the same color all white and uh, yellow and uh, 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 bluish or uh, whatever, but th but this game they put more detail. Like it also in, in this city that as, uh, uh, in this game, it's like a futuristic too. And also it it it, it, it also look like you from Times Square from New York City. If you if you look around the uh, the city or if you get, if you guys already played the beta or, or whatever, I, I can't I can't really say, but. Yeah, even the combat and the combat is a lot different. Cause the first, all you do is punch and kick into knocking enemies. But this one is not about just a uh, uh, a punch and kicking. It's mostly about fighting with style. Like you go also roll run and then you jump down to kick them. Or also you could just run up on the wall and then jump and do spin kick. Oh, and once again, do so you go also slide and, and do the kick as always, like in the original game. Like ba ba basically, basically the the way you fight in various edge cave is how is how you play, like like especially um how you interact with the environment. If you, you only, also defeat 
the enemies in the, in the mirror stage catalyst, you have to use the environment in your own advantage. It, 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 this is, like I said, this is this is nothing like for what we for we, what we experienced from the first mirror This is something that you could that you could actually do, like also to interact with your with character of Faith, which is actually the main character of this game, of course. And also, this game is actually an open world. You can actually travel the whole city in, in your advantage. Because in, in the first Mirror's Edge, you, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dudes. The next level, it basically, uh, it leads you to a mission, or like a waypoint, to, to your next objective, to the story mission. Or you can also do side, side missions around the city. That, But that's depend, that depends on you, though. But I recommend you guys do the side missions though, because if you do, you also get points for your upgrades to up to unlock to upgrade your character, to do to do um to upgrade your skills, or your especially your combat skills, and also to increase more damage to these different types of soldiers, as you can see, uh, uh from your menus once you press you press the tab or start button, whatever you want to call it. But but yeah, got guys, this game is. Ha has brought me uh, so much attention. I hope this game brought you uh, so many attention, dudes. And I hope this, I hope this killer review, uh, help help you dudes a lot. Cause I will be, uh, I will be getting this game on PC. I will be, uh, like, I want to get it for PS4, but I, I have more experience, like I said from the beginning of this video, that I, I I've been playing this mostly on PC. So I want to say thank you dudes for watching and that, and that is it for my first killer review about this game Mirror's Edge Catalyst and uh, I'm looking forward to getting it. I'm definitely getting it dudes and I, and I can't wait to do the walkthrough of this game and uh, thank, you, thank you dudes for amazing support, love you guys and catch you dudes later on the next video. Bye dudes.